Pure, uncontaminated pigments have been prized throughout antiquity, with some considering black to be the most important. Black is a powerful tool of the palette, and proper use can amplify the impact of any work. Bob Ross used it to pull surprises from his paintings. Rembrandt used it to show the strength of light. Black was the color for the Model T, and likely black from charcoal was even the first tone to ever be used. I'm your host, Michael, and today we're going to explore what was once the world's blackest black the controversy behind its existence, and the existential threat it exemplifies. This is the tale of Phantom Black. A black so black it eats black. 99.8% of it. Welcome to... The one. Creative Hazard Storytime. Vanta Black is a black coating made up of CNTs or carbon nanotubes. In person, the coating has a surrealistic look, darker and flatter than anything you've likely ever seen, because it removes all visual information, such as texture or displacement. If the matrix could actually glitch, this is what it would look like. Vanta Black is so black you can't actually see it. This is because of the way nanotubes work. Steve Northam from Surrey Nanosystem had a pretty vivid comparison for how CNTs actually work. Imagine you have a field of wheat, and instead of the wheat being 3 or 4 feet high, it's about a thousand feet tall. That's the equivalent scale that we're talking about for nanotubes. The reason they work, they're very, very long compared to their diameter. It will stay upright and not blow away in the wind. But if you then try and land a plane on it, you'll make a dent. What was also exposed in this analogy reveals the hidden flaw of Vanta Black, its fragility. CNTs are dangerous when handled improperly, and they can be easily broken off. CNT exposure typically happens through inhalation, and symptoms include inflammation, malignant transformations, DNA damage, and mutation. Vanta Black is another pigment with hypertoxic effects, but a clear market opportunity invited it into production in 2014. As Anish Kapoor relays his knowledge to Julian Bronner in a 2015 interview, the nanostructure of Vanta Black is so small that it virtually has no materiality. It's thinner than a coat of paint and rests on the liminal edge between an imagined thing and an actual one. It's a physical thing that you cannot see, giving it a transcendent or transcendental dimension, which I think is very compelling. Developed to cover spy satellites and stealth planes, Vanta Black was created with militaristic use in mind. Kapoor mentions this, but also shares some possibilities for less controversial applications. Outside of my project, Vanta Black is being developed for military stealth technologies where one needs to restrict the use of light, such as inside a telescope where you want the light to just focus on the mirror without having wandering light particles around in order to see distant stars. Yes, fueling the military industrial complex inspired and funded the creation of this hypertoxic pigment, but it would take a true artist to bring public attention to it. See, the title of The World's Blackest Black was not enough to force it into the social zeitgeist. That changed in March of 2016 when the world became aware that Kapoor had purchased exclusivity, 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 exclusivity rights to you. Well, sort of. He monopolized the artistic use of Vanta Black Esfiz, a sprayable version of Vanta Black. This is an important distinction, as Surrey Nanosystems has developed multiple versions of the CNT coating, and it meant the planes, the tanks, and the telescopes were safe. For now. In hindsight, we can actually see some of the philosophy that would make Kapoor want to purchase something like this. I'm absolutely sure that to make new art, you have to make new space. Melvick's Black Square doesn't just make a proposition about non-images or black as an image. It suggests that space works in a different way than previously conceived. Whether it is literal space or poetic space, I'm sure this equation is correct. 
Kapoor is steadfast in his belief that new art requires new space, and he found that in Vanta Black. Kapoor has been working with voids in his art since the 80s, when along comes this material that amplifies his ability to accomplish that. He also realized that the best way to lock in the potential of this new space in a capitalistic society was to buy out any competitors. So he did. Kapoor himself is a hundred millionaire, and the purchase of the rights to Vanta Black infuriated the art world. Comments about his monopolization were fairly selfish in nature, as they were from Kapoor's contemporaries. They rightfully interpreted that a color had been taken off of their palettes, but motives were not pure. I've never heard of an artist monopolizing a material. Using pure black and artwork grounds it. All the best artists have had a thing for pure black. Turner, Monet, Goya. This black is like dynamite in the art world. The controversy was led by those pushing the narrative that Kapoor had stolen something from every artist in the world. But had he? The reality was, Vanta Black was only ever accessible to the super rich artist. The selfish subtext of their outrage made any criticism hard to take seriously. Furthermore, usage rights are always a capitalistic hazard with products. I'm thinking of Spider-Man, Disney, and Sony right now. As they are products to be sold at market prices. If some rich ghoul wants to buy the world's supply of Vanta Black paint, they could. Maybe that's the problem. These criticisms, however selfish and biased, are articulated well, and that implanted the thought that Kapoor had removed black from the palette of every artist out there. This narrative was further reinforced by media conglomerates who spread the story and bid for clicks. Free, 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 free advertisements included with any controversy. Like this video if you agree. If you hate Kapoor solely for what he'd done with Vanta Black, it's because you were manipulated in this effort. There's no reason for the general public to have this paint, nor to be responsible for, to release it as such. It's designed to be applied in a very specific environment with special spray guns, ventilations, safety gear, and very specific disposal standards. Keeping track of this could never be maintained with a general release. Vanta Black remains in the hands of Kapoor, ultimately bringing him more recognition, but some think it will come to define him. Lazaconde writes on Instagram, Take a moment to remember that the only thing history will remember about this lackluster artist is the infamous pettiness his black paint scandal brought to light and the artist he's deprived at the time. But is that the reality? I'm not too sure. Too fragile for military applications and too dangerous for public availability, Vanta Black was only ever really suited for controlled use in an artistic environment. When Kapoor limited the availability of it, he reduced the overall production of it, keeping the hazard contained to his own work. Was this intentional? No. But thanks to Kapoor, the only people at risk are the people that look at his work. The danger is out there to seek on your own. Just visit one of Kapoor's exhibits. That's the solution to the controversy behind the world's blackest black. On the 13th of September, engineers at MIT revealed they had created a substance that absorbs 99.99% five percent of visible light beating out vanta black by nearly 0.01 percent i guess that's a story for another day we can now get over the whole mark my words vanta black will be everywhere before any questions about its safety are answered it's pretty alarming how much they've ramped up the usage of this stuff in the past few months it started with bmws you know they're they're coating bmws with this stuff now they've got watches coming out Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast on Fanta Black. Um, the reason why I'm talking about it is because it reminds me of another product that's out there. Teflon. For those of you that don't know, your body can't break it down. No organic matter can break it down. So it takes a really, really long time to, um, you know, decompose. And the problem with that is, is that Teflon, you know, you cook with it and you heat it up above 500 degrees it starts to decompose which happens if you have a gas oven and you just leave it on or um, with nothing in it or even if you have something in it and it burns the sides of a pier um, or if it flakes off and it gets in your food the crazy thing about Teflon is they tested it um, when they first figured it out it's a DuPont product right It's a, the crazy thing about it is they, when they first made it, they were inventing it to cover tanks, just like um, 
Vanta Black, and it was meant to make tanks waterproof. And some guy realized that they could put it on cookware and it would make it non-sticky. And to test the safety of this stuff after they figured it out, they put it in cigarettes and they had their employees smoke it. And all of them got sick. These people were super, super sick. And it was all because of this, they were human testing on, on human beings. And in the early 2000s, um, this stuff started to come to light because a farmer who lived nearby, his farm was part of the dump, um, or his land was near the dump for the place where they manufactured this stuff. So they dumped all the toxic sludge into this area near his farm and all his cows got black teeth and real sick and they went crazy and they would charge at each other and um <clears throat> so the tricky thing about it was the fda didn't regulate it and the epa didn't regulate it because it was a, a new um chemical so they didn't have tests for it, so they weren't looking for it. So all the tests in the area came up fine. Teflon still is out there, you can still buy it, and it will still make you super sick. Um, and there's no telling how many restaurants use it, right? So, yeah. Back to Vanta Black. Um, it has made me laugh ever since I heard about it when it hasn't made me worried, um, especially the Chicago bean memes covering the bean in Phantom Black, so and it looks like a black hole. Um, because yeah, it is. It's a vanity spot. I like it, but it, it's for pictures. Anyways, so I'm gonna get super happy now. If you like that, subscribe. If you don't like it, don't. Visit D-I-E-D-F-A-M-O dot U-S and um, consider becoming a Patreon. That would be awesome. That's it. Have a good day. Peace. Wait. I had a really good outro.